Imagine, if you will, a puzzle so intricate that the sheer number of possible solutions outstrips the lifespan of the universe. This is the essence of the Leventhal paradox, first proposed by molecular biologist Cyrus Leventhal in 1969. At its core, the Leventhal paradox grapples with the improbability of a protein randomly folding into its functional configuration within a realistic time frame, given the astronomical number of potential arrangements. The paradox has its roots in the meticulous study of proteins, those complex molecules that drive most of the biological activities in our cells. When Cyrus Leventhal first formulated his paradox, he highlighted the sheer scale of the problem. Even a modestly sized protein of 100 residues could adopt more configurations than there are atoms in the universe. This is an unfathomable number, and it underscored the improbability of a protein randomly finding its functional form within the age of the universe. But the story does not end here. In 2011, Peter Tomper and George D. Rose proposed a new version of the paradox, termed Leventhal 2.0, expanding its scope from a single protein to the entire cell. They researched a simple yeast cell's interactome, which is the vast network of interactions among cellular constituents, including proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, metal ion cofactors, and more. The interactome was found to be staggeringly complex, and the number of possible configurations for it is even more mind-boggling than for a single protein. Tomper and Rose calculated that an average protein could have approximately 3,540 distinguishable interfaces for potential interactions. Using this number to estimate the size of the interactum's configuration space, they arrived at a figure so large it's difficult to comprehend. 10 to the power of 7.9 times 10 to the power of 10, which is 10 to the 79 billion. As synthetic chemist James Tour commented, that number is crazy big. This new version of the Leventhal paradox, the Leventhal paradox of the interactomy, challenges the notion that a functional cell could arise by random collisions of its constituents within any meaningful span of time. This is as close to a proof as we can get, suggesting that the cell does not and cannot organize itself through random interactions alone. To give an idea of just how problematic this is for the random collisions of Darwinian processes, Michael Behe stated that the likelihood of developing two binding sites in a protein complex would be the square of the probability of developing one, a double chloroquine complexity cluster, 10 to the exponent of 20 times 10 to the exponent of 20, which is 10 to the exponent of 40. There have likely been fewer than 10 to the exponent of 40 cells in the entire world in the past 4 billion years, so the odds are against a single event of this variety just two binding sites being generated by accident in the history of life. It is biologically unreasonable. And please note, 10 to the exponent of 40 is the probability of developing just two binding sites in a protein complex. The interactome's configuration space is estimated to be 10 to the exponent of 79 billion. To repeat Dr. Tour, that number is crazy big. The implications of this are profound and far-reaching, particularly when considering the origin of life. As Paul Nelson articulated in his 2012 article, The Humpty Dumpty Effect, a revolutionary paper with far-reaching implications, a soup of proteins and nucleic acids, no matter how enriched, will never spontaneously form a functional cell, even if lipid bilayer membranes are provided to aid organization. Once the integrity of a cell is breached, its contents irreversibly shift towards non-living chemistry, entering what Tompa and Rose refer to as the zone of chaos. The Leventhal paradox, in both its original and new versions, presents a conundrum that challenges our understanding of protein folding and cellular organization. It underscores the need for more than the random processes of Darwinian evolution to achieve the intricate order seen in life. It is a reminder that life, at its most fundamental level, is not a product of chaos, but of elegance and complexity that continues to astound us.